Well, hello, and thank you for doing this for me. I'm excited for all you listeners, all you viewers out there. Uh, my name is Anita Johnson, and I completed a pilot program called Finding Your Financial Voice. It's a pilot program where I take five women in a group and we talk about uh, our financial DNA. We talk about the things that are actually bothering us with our uh, or challenges that we may be having for with our finances. Uh, not that we need a spreadsheet where we need a budget, but we talk about our mindset when it comes uh, to our finances. And one of the things that if we do not deal with our mindset, when it comes to our finances or with anything, we never get over the hump. So I have one of the attendees on and she's going to tell you how uh, she actually went through the program and how it affected her as well. And I'll allow her to introduce herself and tell you about, and I may ask her a few questions too. Uh, so I'm going to let her tell you how the program, the four week program, the Fridays of one month from six to seven, how that worked for her. Go right ahead, my girl. <laughs> my name is Portia. Um, and when I joined the group, I was um, wondering what, how it was going to work out and mm -hmm. what was going to um, What I did enjoy about the group was having other people, other women, um, sharing their experiences which makes you think about your own experiences mm -hmm. um how things are maybe related this you know have the same thoughts and then how some things are different because everybody is different um and it did make me think more deeper like mm -hmm. you the dna like where did you learn your money habits from and you you have to stop and think where did i learn it was it a good thing that I learned, you know, or was it uh, a tragedy? <laughs> because, you know, the people that you learned it from, were they good money managers? Did they um, always have their bills paid on time? Or, mm. you, or were they the ones that were always struggling and choosing to do something else instead of keeping, you know, your household straight? But mm -hmm. that was that was a very interesting thing to me. Okay. So did you, when you, when we talked about the financial DNA, how did that affect you? You don't have to tell us, you know, how, where'd you get your, your, your uh, financial things from, but how did that affect you? How, what made you, how did you come up with the persons or the person that taught you how to deal with your finance? How far did you have to go back? <laughs> um, Not far. Mm -hmm. um, okay because i i actually learned it from my mom um and she always took care of business um some of the stuff i didn't get from her because um you know parents don't tell you mm -hmm. every you just see that everything works and um for her it wasn't like a struggle even though mm -hmm. she didn't have a lot of money but everything always where, you know, she always took care of everything the way it needed to be done. Mm -hmm. um, so I did have a few um, bumps in the road of my own, which I think we all do. Mm -hmm. um, but I knew that I needed to get some more help because you, you can think you know what you know, mm -hmm. but then you don't know once you find out somebody else knows mm -hmm. more than what you know. And you always need to have somebody... Um, I call them spotters, <laughs> spotter mm -hmm. that um you can um check in with, you know, and be like, you know, I'm doing this, but what can you see from your angle? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's the main thing, you know, for me is I I have to have spotters in my okay. life. Okay, All right. that's a good word. I like that. <laughs> that's I like that. Yeah. How would you uh would you recommend this class? Let let me let me go back. What are some of the, I wouldn't say dislikes, but what are some of the things that you think that maybe could be improved on the class? Hmm. That you maybe was wish it was there, something that you wished was there. 
maybe not improved, but you you were looking, you wish that this something there was there. Like for instance, uh, I think one lady talked about she would have she would have liked um, samples or she would have liked a, a, a spread a, a spreadsheet sample or a budget sample or any of those kinds of things. What do you think you could have had to make the class good for you, better for you? Um, a syllabus. <laughs> <laughs> We're so used to syllabus. <laughs> We're so used to having an agenda. <laughs> A little something, just a little, uh, mm -hmm. little excerpts of what certain things mean or what we're going to oh. get into. So okay. you can kind of think about it and then be like, okay. And then as everybody shares, then, you know, mm -hmm. you just get even more, okay. but just hope something to let you know, this is what we're going to talk about. And mm -hmm. this, these different types of things mean, or okay. the type that yeah that okay. would probably now would you recommend this uh course to other women yeah i think i think everybody needs it because just mm -hmm. like i think everybody should see um a therapist because you, <laughs> but and then when it comes to money you you really need somebody because <laughs> Yeah, there's so many different ways that you can, you know, do things with your money, different mm -hmm. ways to handle things, things you won't even think about, but somebody else mm -hmm. you know, thinks to think about mm -hmm. or it does it a different way. And you go like, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, never mm -hmm. thought of because you can't think of everything yourself. So right. Right. I think it's good to be in connection with other people. Okay. Okay. And yeah. So what is the one thing that you have done that you learned in the class that you have done today to improve your uh, financial situation? Um, to improve my personal mm -hmm. situation? Um, I, one, I, I did have to go back the whole thing about the dna part was a major thing so okay. I to go back and look at that and the parts that i did learn from my mom and then mm -hmm. i did get some from my dad also. okay okay all right all right and then with that my thought even though uh, my daughter is grown it's like i need to give her more mm -hmm. so i i did um read to her and uh did a like a budget spreadsheet with her mm. like with her you know because you know a lot of people don't like to talk about their money and mm -hmm. you have to be comfortable with somebody and I know kids probably think oh my parents are gonna judge me for how I do my money or whatever um but I just wanted to make sure she understands how she should put some things together. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm learning things. So let me pass it on so that mm -hmm. not unaware of how things, you know, can go. Cause you know, that you'll look at it and go, oh, okay, I got this money. And then you just go spend it, but you need to see where it's going because I believe, um, we have talked about you have to tell your money where to go. Mm. It, it has to have a purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. The money yes. has to have a purpose. Yeah, you just can't be working this to be working. What's the per or working to pay bills? What are what are uh you know what's the purpose of of the money? Mm -hmm. Right. And so that's what I um I wanted to um, teach her. So me knowing about the whole DNA part. Okay. All right. I wanted to give her a better chance. You I know. love it. Oh, mom. <laughs> well, great. So I really thank you for, for being part of the group and doing this uh, testimonial uh, for me. 
uh, for for this particular uh, finding your financial voice, you know, program, which is only four weeks long, and I only take five women, uh, and we only do it per quarter. And so I'm excited that you came on and did this testimony, and that you were part of the um, initial group, right? Yeah, you're like, you're like one of the founders or something. <laughs> You, next thing I know, you're going to want some stock in there. You're like, I, I have found it. <laughs> I, I need my finances to be built. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you so much. And I appreciate that. This and, uh, you know, keep keep uh, pushing, you know, that envelope about your money and stuff and keep getting better at it because there's always something new that mm -hmm. you can do with your finances. It's not, okay, I got it down pat. I'm the, no, it's always, it, it can be always, it can be just the smallest of, of a movement uh, towards your, towards your finances. So keep doing that. I, I will do that. All right. Thank you so much.